Hello and welcome to this video on advanced regular expressions. In this video, we are going to cover a few regular expression features that can help you as you begin writing regular expressions for more tricky situations. We'll cover groups, escaping special characters, the positive look behind, and the negative look ahead. Groups are one advanced feature that allow you to make entire sections of your regular expression optional or capture repeating blocks of text. You can create a group with parentheses and the regular expression inside of that group we can make optional or repeat. A couple examples of when this can come in handy are below. First, we have two invoice number labels, one written out fully and the other abbreviated. In the regular expression, we make the latter half of the words optional by putting a question mark after the parentheses. In the second example, we have three variations of a phone number. If you think about the structure of these phone numbers, we have three numbers followed by either a space or dash, then we have another three numbers followed by another space or dash, and then we have four numbers. Since the pattern of three numbers and a space or dash repeats twice in our regular expression, we can put three digits followed by an optional, optional space or dash inside the parentheses, and after the parentheses, a curly bracket with a two, so it occurs twice. Then we can finish off the regular expression with four digits, and we capture all three phone number variations with a nice, concise regular expression. This really comes in handy when the pattern that repeats can happen a variety of times. With all the special characters being used in the regular expressions, you may be asking yourself how to capture one of these char characters. In regular expressions, you have to quote unquote escape any of these special characters to match one of them exactly. You escape a character by putting a backslash in front of it, and it is necessary to capture parentheses, quantifiers like an asterisk or a plus, um, and other characters that are used in regular expressions like a period or a backslash. In the example below, we put backslashes in front of the opening and closing parentheses to capture them in the phone number values below. A common situation when you're extracting data is that the pieces you want to capture are broken up by multiple labels in the document. In the example below, we have a person's name that has been separated out into first, middle, and last names with labels for each of them. If we want to capture the person's full name in a single index field, we need a regular expression that can just get us the text that we want from amongst all the labels and values. One way to do this is with what's called a positive look behind. The positive look behind will allow us to only capture the desired regular expression if it is preceded by another regular expression that we do not capture. In this example, we only want the uppercase and lowercase letters that immediately follow name colon space. A positive look behind has a structure of open parentheses, question mark, left caret, equals sign, then the regular expression of what precedes our text that we don't want to capture, in this case, name colon space. Then we put a closing parentheses and then the regular expression of what we actually want to capture. And then we will pick out the first, middle, and last name. Similarly to the positive look behind is what we call the negative look ahead. A negative look ahead allows us to only match the text we want if it's not followed by some other regular expression. In this example, we want to find the total amount on an invoice, but at the bottom of the invoice are total tax, total savings, and then the total amount that just says total. If we were to just key off of the word total, we would capture all three of these amounts. So we can use a negative look ahead to only key off of the word total if it isn't followed by a space and the word tax or savings. A negative look ahead has a similar structure to the positive look behind, but begins with the regular expression we actually want to capture, followed by open parentheses, question mark, and exclamation point, and then the regular expression we don't want following our matched text and a closing parentheses.
This concludes this video on advanced regular expressions. We covered groups, escaping characters, the positive look behind, and the negative look ahead. Thanks for watching.